Hello everybody, so today's video is actually going to be a little bit different and it's going to be kind of a different thing on my channel. I wanted to make this video about confidence. Now I am going to have a little series on my channel coming up where I'm going to be talking about different topics um, that relate to me and just topics I want to talk about where I don't plan the video, I don't plan what I want to say, I just turn up on the day, say what I've got to say and go basically and not edit it too much. I wanted to make this video because recently it's just kind of struck me that life is all about confidence and I know that sounds a bit strange and to some people you know quite weird but I've realised that every situation requires confidence and to me that's quite annoying because obviously if you know me or if you've watched some of my videos you know that I had selective mutism when I was younger and if you want to you know watch a video on that then I did do one so I'll link that down below in the description but that's not what this video is about. This is about confidence in general and I think everyone can kind of relate to that. Sorry I'm just sitting down. Um, I think everyone can kind of relate to that and I don't know it just kind of makes me sad how there's people out there that are so so confident with life and they throw themselves into everything and they breeze through things because they have that confidence and there's others out there like me um not not always I'm I'm some oh I I'm all right sometimes that struggles um in certain situations to be confident and it really lets me down and it really kind of makes me feel bad and I think you know, why am I not confident? You know, what makes someone confident? Because some situations I will go into and I will be completely confident and fine, but another day I'll go into that same situation and I won't be confident at all and I might not even be able to do it. And I just think to myself, that's the exact same situation, but because it's a different day and I'm feeling differently, I can't do it. And it's not like it's difficult, it's not like it's a struggle. It's because of something in my brain that makes me think I can't do something and it makes me think that I'm not confident enough to do it. And that makes me think that maybe there's something that actually I can help myself with and there's a way that I can make myself more confident. So this video in a way is gonna be me kind of just chatting randomly about confidence, but also maybe there might be something in it that you get out of this that's helpful. Confidence is key. To being happy and I know that sounds you know to some people that aren't confident in general life you might think well that's wrong but I for myself think that that's correct because some days I can go to sixth form go to sixth form and I am having a really good time having a laugh with my friends I'm really confident and I think to myself hang on I could literally say anything to anyone well, in, within reason, I'm not going to be nasty, do you know what I mean? Like I can go up to somebody and talk to them like a teacher or I could do something or I can involve myself in a lesson. Whereas other days, I literally would never go up to that person and say that thing or I would never do that. And it just makes me think, well, what's different? It's a different day. So why am I feeling so different? Why am I not confident? Is there something in my head that I can change to make me think like that? On days where I'm not feeling confident and I know a lot of you sat there will think well some days you're confident other days you're not confident well sorry I've got my little mug my little guinea pig mug um some days you know some of you will be thinking you know well some days you're confident some days you're not confident that's just life but I want to kind of tackle those moments where I'm not confident because and to kind of make myself more hang on stop right there don't count how many times I say confident in this video because it is going to be a lot, okay? So don't count it because just you'll just annoy yourself, okay? Situations like getting the bus or even answering the door or sometimes answering the phone, I really struggle to do. And some of you will think, what the hell? That's the easiest thing ever. I do that every single day. But to me, those situations are actually the most difficult and it's something that I would actually worry about um, especially getting the bus, I would worry about for ages, you know, for days before it happens, that kind of thing. And I literally sit there thinking to myself, what am I worried about? What, what am I expecting to happen? Um, do I think I'm not going to get on? You know, what in somebody that has anxiety, um, but I'm kind of not really talking about anxiety, but you know, someone that has anxiety will just think in their head, what if I don't get on? What if the bus doesn't stop? What if it doesn't arrive? Um, 
what if I don't have enough money, what if the money changes, um, all those kind of things. And it's just like, well, hang on a minute, even if those situations do happen, you just walk away, you just go home, you sort something out. It's not life changing and life ending. And I then think, well, yeah, it's all right. But there's still that gut feeling inside of me that thinks I really am nervous and I just don't know why. Um, whenever I'm nervous, and this is kind of a little tip, whenever I'm nervous, I pretend to myself that I'm excited because I think the feeling of being nervous, because obviously when you feel nervous, it's like a hormone in your body that makes you feel that way. Um, I turn that feeling in my head into feeling excited and it almost makes me feel then excited and I get excited, but, um, and I'm almost tricking myself into thinking I'm excited and you just have to think, yeah, 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 I'm really excited for this. And then it makes me kind of excited and it just makes me feel better and... Yeah, I'm still a little bit nervous, but I'm not anywhere near as nervous as I was before because some people could be really excited for the same thing that I'm really nervous for. Um, for example, giving presentations. I always used to get so scared to do a presentation, um, but now I actually get excited to do a presentation because I make myself excited. I always think, you know, Georgie, this is your opportunity to talk in front of a group of people, talk about something. I love talking, you know, I sit here in front of a YouTube video, uh, in front of a camera, um, and I'm talking away. And I love that. And I always think, you know, impress yourself, Georgie, do this for you. You're the one that controls yourself so you can do this. And I think that's what it's about, talking to yourself. Um, I think that really helps. I always talk to myself. You know, I'm just walking down the street in my head. I'm literally talking to myself. I'm like, oh, look, there's a bus. Or, oh, look, Georgie, let's walk along. Or, what are you going to do later? Look, literally, I'm not just thinking these things. I'm talking to myself. And it just gives you that little extra bit of company. And when there's situations that come along that you're kind of not really sure on or you're kind of a bit nervous about, actually giving yourself a prep talk, a pep talk really, really helps. Um, I always talk to myself, I'm like, Georgie, you can do this. You really can. Um, you'll be proud of yourself when you do it. I'm going. And if, it, if it goes wrong, then who cares? You know, I literally say that and it does help to me anyway. So I might be a little bit of a weirdo. I actually, when I'm in the shower, do talk to myself in my head um, just about anything. Um, like, oh, I run myself through the day. If there's an event that I'm scared to do, I will run myself through it. I think often when you're scared to do something, you kind of put it to the back of your mind. You try not to think about it because you don't want to think about it. But I think often kind of putting it to the front of your mind, thinking about it, going through it actually breaks it down and kind of makes you realize that maybe it's not as bad as what you think. Um, and then when the situation occurs, you've already thought about it. Um, so you can kind of deal with that situation a little bit better. Now, this video is actually so, so random and I don't know what I'm trying to get out of this, but I just really wanted to talk about it because I think there's a lot of children now that are, or well, children and adults obviously, but especially children that have confidence issues and lack in confidence. And I think as a teacher, teachers are pretty confident in themselves because they're talking in front of a bunch of children, you know? They're talking in front of people and they're teaching. So a lot of them don't understand this lack of confidence that kids have and I wish that I could involve myself in more events where I kind of help children to be more confident. I wish I could do that because I, I think that's something that I actually feel very passionate about. Um, when I was younger I obviously struggled so much with confidence um, with my selective mutism and I just, I don't know, I just feel like being a child and being so shy is something quite horrible. I think as you get older and you're more shy, you can kind of talk to yourself a little bit more and get yourself out of that situation. But when you're little, you know, all you know is, or you can see these other children around you, like, why are they doing this? Or why are they so confident? Or how are they like that and not me? Um, and then teachers are pushing you into things, you know, they're like, oh, um, they can see that you're quite shy. So they make you come up and do things that you don't want to do. And um, and you can see that they're doing that. And, and it's just like, that's not the way to do it. Pushing somebody that's like not confident in into big massive situations is not going to help them and I think um, teachers and people need to realise that and parents um, because it's not as simple as that you know there's something mentally wrong with a person that makes them 
have this anxiety or makes them not that confident. It's not, you know, doing biology has made me realise that everything or any kind of disorder or disease or mental health problem stems from your brain, your hormones, how you're made yourself. It's not your fault that you're doing this. It's not your fault that you feel scared for something. And that's what other people need to realise, that it, it's not that person's fault, it's the way that they're made. And I think as you get older, you can change that. And that's what I've realised, because I think some people think that there's two types of people. There's confident people and there's shy people. No. There is confident people and shy people but those shy people can become confident and I think that's what I'm trying to get across because I'm I would say that in certain situations I'm incredibly confident in others not so but in general I'm a pretty confident person and I can do things that I never thought I ever would be able to when I was younger um and I think it's because over time I've trained my brain and I've talked to myself and I've realized put myself in these situations and I've pushed myself that actually you can make yourself confident and I think as soon as you believe that you can get to that place um don't just give in and think this is me this is what I've got to live with just being shy all the time you can really I don't know it's difficult and it's probably taken me all of my life up until I'm about 18 years old like that's how old I am now it's taken me all my life to get to this point where I can say you know I'm co I'm pretty confident but there is sections of my life where I'm not so it does take time obviously and life experiences um but I think it's just kind of pushing yourself into those um situations and just I don't know just knowing yourself and being a friend to you and talking to yourself. I feel like I'm such a widow in this video, but I, I don't know, you know, the camera's rolling. I haven't planned for this and that's kind of how I want these videos to be. Um, I think having suffered from selective mutism as a child has made me very um, understanding of other people and how they are. It's made me very wary of people that I see, like especially children, when they don't want to involve themselves in things. It makes me feel very sorry for them. Um, and especially when people get bullied for things um, or when someone's teasing someone else, it really does make me feel very sorry for the person that's being teased because, you know, I don't know, you know, I've been there, I've had that happen to me and I just feel like being very shy is actually so much worse than people think like being you know having anxiety is actually really quite bad because that's what you have to deal with every single day of your life it's i don't know like obviously there's physical disabilities out there and there's other mental health problems that you know you'd say are very a lot worse but i'm not talking about that i'm talking about confidence and anxiety in general and that is today's topic of conversation um so i'm not saying you know this is the worst thing ever um but it is you know it is quite bad and i just want to help people out because i've just realized after all these years that actually so many people have problems um like with their mental health and i just want to i don't know like i feel like i need to help so making these videos hopefully i'm able to kind of get across to people that help in a way um and you can obviously ask me questions in the comments and stuff like that if you've got anything to ask me but yeah i think having experienced these life experiences has made me a lot more happier and it's made me a lot more happier in myself i think you can easily slip into a rut of thinking everything's quite negative seeing other people in your life as irritating whereas i always think positively of every single situation i always think positively of um people like me i don't really get irritated by people at all really you know some people are you know not very nice and that annoys me but they don't you know there's people there that other people get irritated by that i really don't find irritating at all because i always see the positives in other people and I realise that these people aren't trying to be irritating, these people aren't trying to be like this, that's just the way they are. Okay, I don't, my camera just cut off, I don't think I'm in focus if I'm completely honest with you um, because I'm struggling to focus it on my own but you just have to deal with that for the end of the video. Yeah, my camera just cut off so damn it. You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do and just be aware of other people around you that maybe are lacking in confidence. I think that's kind of what I'm making this video out to be. I'm sorry if it's not in focus, by the way. Um, but I just think it's about making 
yourself aware that there's people out there trying to involve them in situations try not to make them feel like an you know an outsider or anything like that just involve them in things um, because it is difficult to have a lack of confidence and if you feel in any situation that you don't have confidence try just talk to yourself say you can do it because you can do it you can do these situations that you think you can't um, and even if that situation ends up going badly that isn't a fail at all that's just a life experience and it's something that just adds to your life experiences never think of something as a success or fail or a situation as oh it's gonna fail it won't fail it's a life experience and that's what you've got to put it down to you don't want to spend your whole life being scared of everything and everyone you want to believe that you can be confident and i think that's what it's about i don't know what this video is and i don't know what i've actually said and it is completely rambly but i just hope that i've got something across and i hope that you know if you've got any questions then ask them in the comments um but thanks for watching and i feel like i've rambled a lot is there anything else i'd like to say Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye!